Hello, Sawyer here. Welcome back to Real Numbers, the show that combines solving real-world problems and learning math. This week, we continue our geometrical journey by taking your toy boat Wavy, short for wave equation, down to the river. Let's jump in. You are at a river whose banks are straight parallel lines 100 meters apart, and the river flows at a constant but unknown rate at all points. This means that while Wavy is in the water, it gets pulled downstream at this rate. In addition, Wavy has a motor that pushes it in the direction it's facing at another constant rate, also unknown. Two docks are directly across the river from each other. You are at one, and your friend is at the other with the toy boat. Your friend points Wavy directly towards your dock and places it in the river with the motor on, but as it crosses the river, it gets pulled downstream. You retrieve Wavy from where it met your bank. 60 meters downstream from your dock and carry it back to your dock. At what point along the far bank should you aim Wavy so that it exactly meets your friend at the opposite dock? Submit your navigational bearing below the video. You can include a picture to help explain your work. Now let's consider last episode's problem. If you haven't seen that episode yet, there is a link in the description of this video. We were packing our newly designed snow cone, which had a radius 5 centimeters and height 10 centimeters, by reshaping a five centimeter radius hemisphere of slush into it. The question, what is the radius at the bottom of the slush that must be scraped off the side of the hemisphere and packed into the point of the snow cone holder? To simplify this three-dimensional problem, we can take a cross section of the cone and the hemisphere and get a better idea of what is going on. If we slice vertically through the axis of the cone and sphere, we get this picture. The surface of the sphere is the bottom half of a circle, and the surface of the cone are two lines forming a V. If we declare the center of the sphere to be the origin, then this right lip of the sphere is 5, 0, and the tip of the cone is 0, negative 10. Therefore, the right side of the cone is the line between these points. It has slope rise over run, that's 10 over 5, or just 2, and y-intercept negative 10. So the formula is just y equals mx plus b equals 2x minus 10. The bottom of the sphere is the circle with radius 5 and center 0. This curve has equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which is 25. Now we are curious about the radius r of the lower circle of intersection of the cone and sphere. That means we want to solve for the point x, y, where both of these equations hold. So we can plug the value for y we get from the cone line into the circle equation. 25 equals x squared plus y squared equals x squared plus 2x minus 10 quantity squared. And we've eliminated y from the equation. This solves to 0 equals x squared minus 8x plus 15. We could use the quadratic formula to find the values for x, or just notice that this factors as x minus 3 times x minus 5. This implies that x equals 3 or x equals 5. It's no surprise that x equals 5 is a solution, because we already knew that the side of the cone met the side of the sphere at the point 5, 0. The solution we were interested in is the other solution, which represents the point at the bottom of the slush that must get removed from the side of the sphere before it will fit in the cone. It turns out that the x-coordinate of this point is 3, so the radius of the circle we are looking for measures 3 centimeters. We can use the line equation to find that the y-coordinate, which is 2x minus 10, is 2 times 3 minus 10, or negative 4, so this point is 3, negative 4. Wow, we just found a 3, 4, 5 right triangle out in the wild. An exciting moment. For the solvers that wanted to test their calculus metal, we asked the bonus question of what volume of slush needs to be moved in this reshaping. To compute this, we can use the shell method. The radius of each shell is r of x equals x, and the height of each shell, h of x, is the difference between the equations for the cone and the sphere after we solve for y. The equation for the cone side is the same as above, y equals 2x minus 10. The equation for the bottom of the sphere is y equals negative the square root of 25 minus x squared. 
So the volume in the point of the cone that dips below the sphere is the integral from 0 to 3 of 2 pi r of x times h of x times dr. So we can plug in the functions for the radius and height of the shells and integrate to get 40 pi over 3, or about 41.888 centimeters cubed. If we wanted to check this answer, we could just compute how much volume would be shaved off from around the outside of the sphere, since we know it should be the same volume as the first integral. Let's see, that would also be a shell method calculation. The integral from 3 to 5 of 2 pi x times 2x minus 10 minus quantity negative square root 25 minus x squared dx. It turns out this also solves out to be 40 pi over 3. Nice. All right, back to the problem of the week. You know that when your friend pointed your toy boat wavy directly across the 100 meter wide river, it collided with your bank 60 meters downstream. Now we need to choose a point on the opposite bank of the river to aim wavy towards so that when combining its motorized movement with the flow of the river, the boat crosses the river to the opposite dock. Thy vessel will sail steady and true if ye have the navigational skills to guide her. Yar. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Submit your solution below, as well as any other ideas or questions you have about the math, and I'll see you next time on Real Numbers.